All right, y'all. This is what us believers have been waiting for. Finally, actual photo evidence that went mainstream. And for all you doubters and haters out there, take a good long look. The video was recorded on May 22nd at the Amarillo Zoo. They just now, probably six to seven days ago, released this photo. Local authorities in Amarillo are asking for the public's help in identifying whatever it is. But you already know. They're asking people if it's a person who dresses up and walks around at night or if it's just some sort of weird anomaly. At the end of the day, come on people, you already know what it is. It's a werewolf. It is a werewolf. Finally, for those of us believers that got the hate and the criticism all along, we knew. But, be humble. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see someone step forward and claim this picture or this outfit, right? At the end of the day, they'll probably debunk it somehow. People that follow me and people that watch my page, you already know, we know the truth. They caught a werewolf on film. Now, I haven't seen the footage. If anybody gets their hands on that footage, please, or seize it, tag me, or send it my way. And I got 87 at protonmail.com. I want to see this thing move. They haven't released the actual CCTV camera footage yet. So if you find it or can get access to it, that is gold. Help me out. These things have been around for centuries. They've just been elusive and really good at hiding. Uh, they stay away from humans as they know what humans tend to do. The lore goes back thousands of years. Dog man. It's simple. I imagine a lot of people are probably going to say that because of that tuft on the back of his neck, that it's a mask. But if you zoom in closely, take a look. Take a look. You can see that it's looking at the camera. It must have heard it or, or saw the movement of the camera or something like that. But like you see, eye, eye, mouth, nose. That on its shoulder, that's its offspring. Again, if you look closely, there's its head. It's over its shoulder, holding on. Now that's something we don't see among wolves that walk on four legs. But two, that changes the story, changes the game. In fact, this footage reminds me of some footage I stumbled across on the internet with alleged werewolf in it. In Germany in World War II, a group doing a patrol actually ran into one of these creatures and they shot and killed it. Now, I know this doesn't look like a conventional storybook werewolf. Usually we grow, imagine them or, or illustrate them a lot bigger, you know, muscles ripped. Well, the fact of the matter is they're just not like that. They're much more, they're almost skinny in a way. They're normal looking. Before I show these pictures from the one in Germany, I just want to say for all of you out there that have suffered, families that have suffered, lost loved ones to these creatures, really, this is your time. And, and I'm glad it happened for you. The land between the lakes. I know it happens all the time in that area. Uh, I watched a video not too long ago on YouTube where a young man lost his life, 13 year old, and they were sure of it that it was a werewolf. But of course, authorities just wrote the family off. And this right here is also why Theodore Roosevelt almost extinct wolves. Because while on a hunting trip with a friend, it's in his book, while hunting with a friend, his, well, his friend lost his life to what they, at the time, no was a werewolf. But this was the only creature, the wolf was the only creature Roosevelt didn't attempt to preserve in his tenure as president. The following images may be disturbing to some, just a fair warning. Here you are. You can see that the body type is very similar. Very skinny legs skinny torso this is a female allegedly close-up of the legs it looks just like the picture we previously looked at torso female they shot her you can see 
the bullet wound in her chest up top. And why her hands are up like that, it's because rigor is already set in. She had been dead for a couple hours, I imagine, when this film was shot. Again, this was Germany, World War II. Now remember, I did a story on the Hellhound of Mons, where a German mad scientist created a human-Siberian husky hybrid. But werewolf actually dates back much earlier than World War I. It's been for thousands of years. And that's because it's said that the Atlanteans actually were the first ones to start dealing in hybrids and chimera. It's said that the Atlanteans were responsible for creating a lot of our species today um, because they were doing experimentation with cross genetics of many different species. When the Atlanteans ceded to the darkness, this is what they started doing, meddling, playing God. So yeah, here you have a werewolf, y'all. Hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll be able to get it to going live here soon. But yeah, this is awesome. Hope y'all enjoyed. I am out.